Today, let's talk about trail helmets. First and foremost, it's super important that you actually wear a helmet. Uh, you wanna make sure that you're out there having a ton of fun, uh, but you also wanna make sure that you're protected and that you're getting home in one piece. Let's talk about a couple different styles that we have here. Uh, we'll start off with our Fox uh, Flux. And let's talk about uh, some of the things that these helmets will all have in common. Keep in mind, uh, the foam is only designed to be used once, meaning you can only crash on a helmet once before you have to replace it. The foam is designed so that uh, when you do have an impact, the foam crushes under the impact and absorbs uh, the force so your head doesn't. Second, uh, the helmets will all have a shell, a hard shell. So the hard shell is there uh, to keep things from penetrating into the foam. So when you're out trail riding, uh, branches, uh, small rocks that fling up at you, especially if you're riding behind somebody uh, and you're trying to pass them and all the rocks are flinging up at you, uh, I wanna make sure that no damage is actually happening to the helmet. Uh, so that cover uh, keeps that foam intact. Uh, also, that cover is going to have some sliding properties. So if you do go over the bars, uh, do land on the dirt or on the asphalt, uh, this helmet will slide uh, to keep your head from turning in awkward angles, uh, protecting your neck and uh, protecting uh, some of the head trauma that can happen. So this is designed to tighten uh, and loosen so you can get the correct fit on the helmet so that it's nice and comfortable uh, without cutting circulation uh, to your neck or putting undue pressure on your head so you don't end up uh, with a huge headache after your ride. Next, uh, let's talk about the straps. So these straps, uh, this one in particular here is a magnetic strap, which is super nice. It just slides right in. Uh, but the straps are designed so that the helmet stays on your head once you crash. You wanna make sure that the helmet's not flying off. You wanna make sure that the helmet is on for the duration of the crash um, to make sure that it's protecting your head. And lastly, let's talk about uh, the MIP system. So the MIP system uh, is this yellow sheath, and this is uh, fairly new in helmet technology. As you can see, that sheath actually slides around. So again, just like the cover is designed to uh, have uh, some sliding properties, what the MIP system does, it allows the helmet uh, to rotate around your head to keep your head from spinning. Uh, it also deflects a lot of the impact uh, that you would have if you were to come to a sudden stop. Uh, now that impact is getting uh, transferred throughout the whole helmet, uh, rotational forces are getting transferred throughout the whole helmet instead of your head and your brain. So all these helmets, whether you're looking at the $150 option uh, down to your basic uh, $50 option will all have these basic features. Now let's talk about some specific features uh, of these models of helmets. So here we have our Fox Flux MIPS, we have our Bell 440 MIPS, and we also have our Bell Nomad. Our favorite brands are going to be Giant, a Fox, and Bell. Make sure you check out our website, we have all the options there. Now keep in mind, every helmet does have different specs as far as sizing and as far as style. So make sure you do your research, uh, look at the charts, make sure you measure your head so you can pick out the correct helmet. If you have any questions, our experts are here to help you out. You can chat with us online, you can give us a call, shoot us an email, or if you're local, come on in. We'd love the opportunity to get you out there on a new helmet and riding safely.